What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to enable skins on your Apex server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. When playing on Minecraft servers, one of the most common ways for players to express themselves is with the use of skins. Skins are the perfect way to add customization to Minecraft characters. And while these are great, when running an offline server or a cracked Minecraft server, skins can be disabled. This problem can occur because cracked servers don't authenticate with the Mojang skin servers. Although it's upsetting to lose character skins, it isn't impossible to enable them. This is going to be a brief guide on how to restore the skins for you and your players. The bread and butter of this guide is going to be utilizing a plugin called Skin Restore which is approved for all versions 1.8 and above, including 1.16. Our first step in this process is going to be stopping our server on the main Apex panel page. Once your servers come to a full stop, you can scroll down to the jar file selection part of the page. Click on the drop down menu and make sure that you're running a spigot or paper server. Once you're sure you're running on a spigot or a paper server, you can head to the left side of the page and click on the plug and list button. Once you're here, you're going to see a drop down that says bucket in the top left corner of the page. Make sure that you select spigot because spigot plugins are compatible with paper and spigot servers. Once you're sure that you have spigot selected, you can go ahead and head to the main box and type in skins, S-K-I-N-S, restore. And then once the results pull up, make sure to select skins restore by clicking on the blue text when it's highlighted. Then, we're going to make sure that we have the correct version for the server. On the left part of the page, it says what version of Minecraft it works for, and then the right part is the corresponding plugin version. As you can see here, we have 13.7.9, so we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the drop down and select that version. Once the installation process is done, you're going to get a bunch of different buttons on the bottom right. Instead of saying install, it'll say disable, remove, or change to. And that's how you know you've successfully installed Skid Restore onto your Apex server. All you need to do now is click on the name of your server at the top of the page, and then you're either going to want to start or restart the server. Once your server starts up fully, you can then head into console and type PL and then hit enter. And it'll tell you that you have Skid Restore installed onto your Apex server. To install through the FTP, we're going to go ahead and jump into Google and search for the official Skin Restore Spigot page. So Google Skin Restore, hit enter, and then when the results pop up, look for the result that says Spigot and then Skin Restore. From here, we're going to see what version of Skin Restore are available for whatever versions of Minecraft we have. They all correspond with the same version of the plugin, so we only need to click on the download now button that's on the page. Once you click on it and it's fully downloaded, all you need to do is click and drag the file to a folder where you can locate it later on. And then we can jump into the server panel and stop the server. Once the server's fully stopped, you can jump into the FTP file access tab on the left side of the page and then log in. And once you're logged in, you can find the plugins folder and click into it. From the plugins folder, go ahead and jump into the upload tab on the left. Once you're here, go ahead and open up the folder where your skin restore jar is located. And then click and drag the file over to the upload part of the page. Once it's done uploading 100%, you can click on the name of your server at the top left of the page. From here, you can either start or restart your server to make sure that the plugin is installed. You can check on the progress of this by jumping into the console tab to the left of the page and then console typing PL and then hitting enter to make sure that your skin restore pops up in console. For installing on your main proxy, you're going to want to head to your main panel page and then stop your proxy server. Once your server comes to a full stop, you need to go ahead and jump into the FTP file access on the left part of the panel. And then from FTP file access, you're going to want to go ahead and log in, of course, with your panel information. 
And then once you're logged in, you can go ahead and find your plugins folder. And then from the plugins folder, you can go ahead and click on upload. From here, you can go ahead and open up the folder where you've downloaded Skins Restorer to, and then drop it in. Once your file is fully uploaded 100%, one out of one files, click on your server list at the top part of the panel. And then you're going to want to upload Skins Restorer to the other servers that are connected to your Bungie Cord network. And now we're going to go over some commands you can use with Skins Restorer. To start off with, we're going to go ahead and type slash skins so that we can get the GUI or the HUD of Skins Restorer. This is a really useful menu to use with Skins Restorer. Another command you can use is slash SR to get all the information you can in game about Skins Restorer. Another command you can use is slash SR props. And this is very, very useful for getting skins of specific users. So when you type SR props, you also want to type in the username of the user whose skin you would like to get the information for. One more useful command you can use is slash skin set the name of the user whose skin you want to change and then the target user of the skin you would like to grab and then hit enter and then your skin will be changed to the skin you'd like it to be set to. Let's say that you want to remove your own skin or a different user's skin. All you need to do is type slash skin clear and then the name of the user skin you'd like to reset and then hit enter and then it'll set the user's skin back to default skin restore has a bunch of other features as well that you can implement on your server such as denying users access to a certain skin or allowing them to swap skins on the fly while playing you can even change the skins of other players Configuration of the files allows users to change language, color codes, and more of the actual commands. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.